some of those who are homeless, who don't know where to go, who have nowhere to go, who are being maltreated in certain lands, and who feel that they want to cross the oceans in order to get to safety, and then they happen to jump into a little boat that may be unsafe and so on. Subhanallah. Only Allah knows what drove them to that level of desperation. Many of them lose their lives. Some of them make it and don't realize they probably would be worse off where they've landed as compared to where they were at times. The maltreatment sometimes is even worse. The Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, was put into the river in this basket without knowing. The mother didn't know what would happen, but Allah knew. And Allah Almighty promised her that, you know what, we will give you, we will return him to you. Allah inspired her to do what she did. And Allah reassured her. So when you are close to Allah, he gives you a comfort in your heart. During your moment of distress, you're still enjoying your relation with Allah. In fact, plugged in and connected on a better level. That's Allah. That's what he does for us. So this is the mother of Musa alayhi salam. Allah tells her, Allah says later on, فَرَدَدْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ أُمِّهِ كَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا وَلَا تَحْزَنْ وَلِتَعْلَمَ أَنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقُّ Allah says, we returned him to his mother after the pause we so that her eyes could be cooled and so that she would know that the promise of Allah is the truth, is the truth. When Allah has promised you something, it is the truth. He promises we will return him. Guess what? The child did not suckle from anyone besides his own mother. So that was from Allah. 